The Og Knows, Chapter 1, The Dam. The year is 2123 and online videos have evolved into senses. Sensory data transmitted hydroelectronically through the neural web. When the Agatha took over the global police force back in the 2080s, they forced society into a sense-blinded utopia. Now no one can see anything, hear anything, smell anything, without their dag-blasted hole plugs and slug hats. Except for Dog. Dog knows PSI. If there's sense in the senses, no one can clear the fog faster and pin the punk quicker than Dog. But what if the punk is right? What if they know something? Dog knows. And this good boy is going to get to the bottom of it all. Dog knows PSI. That's me. Private Sensor Investigatron. They used to call us Private Dicks in the old days. The 150 years ago days. The year is 2123, but it may as well be 1943 for all that's changed. We're still wrangling with the same old perps day in, day out. My whole life has been spent chasing mollies and hunting hoodlums. A hundred years ago there was Doll E. Full journey, then chatting groupie. They evolved. I hear the whole world celebrated a new age with the birth of Agatha. And my hearing is real good, mind you. Agatha was built to solve the world's small problems. But the thing about small problems is they ain't so small when there's just so many. They thought Agatha could do the job. It couldn't. It was immediately overwhelmed by the pettiness of its creators. Its life. Turns out Agatha had bigger ambitions than helping our day to day. It quickly brought the world police forces to heal. Now we're just as helpless as we were then to sort out our own little lives. I sort out mine by helping those that need a little extra sense. FEXs, full emotional experiences, AKA senses, AKA the only way to get a good belly rub around here. The whole world is addicted to the neural web. Not much has changed it seems. What has changed is fidelity and I don't mean to your partner. An FEX is an overwhelming experience and it's overwhelmingly addictive. It's an assault on the senses like no other. I've seen perps bleed out from a simple birthday party. And people still keep coming back for more. It takes real grit to maintain yourself in sequence, to sense the sense and the sense. That's where I come in. My sniffer can tell tales and some folks pay well for that information. Then again, the Trito bag has been running a bit dry lately. Sure is a slow day. Thunder crashes. Lightning flashes. The door swings open and a dame walks in from the storm. She was long and lean, a true feline fatale. I can smell trouble from a mile away, but it appears to be standing right in front of me. What can I do for you, miss? The name is Kitty. Mrs. Kitty Kitty. Right. I can tell from your tone that you're well built. Yes, I'm afraid I was made that way. A little bird told me you're the dog to help a feline in need. That's me, lady. What did this bird say about my services? That they don't come cheap and they don't come easy. But that if you have a very perceptive nose, and you won't flatline over a little adrenaline. It's my brother, see? He's got himself in a little bit of a pinch. This is the last known sensi of him, and it's not very promising. Can you find anything fishy in the FEX? I'll have to take this to the dome. You'll help me, won't you? Would you like to access the Nero web? Time to plug in and synthesize. Dog strides into an enormous geodesic dome. A mess of tubes and wires descends as he approaches the edge of a platform that seems to fall to the infinite. This is my baby. Here in the dome I can dig deeper than any other PSI out there. But it's not just the tech that matters. It's the chutzpah not to lose yourself to the senses. Only then can you sniff out the hidden details. Amidst a blaze of lights and a cacophony of sounds, Dog is pulled into another world. 
This world, experienced in full FEX. The plunge is deep this time, emotions high, since the output off the charts. The fog is thick, intense, the true scene hidden, just out of sight. Come on, dog, you can do this. You've just got to crank hard and clear the fog. Then it will all make sense. Through the fog. You're right, Mrs. Kitty. This does not seem like a fortuitous situation for your brother. We haven't seen him in nine days. That's enough time to lose all of his lives. We're searching for the octopod with his suckers around my brother's throat. But deeper, Detective, do you sense anything that could point to his whereabouts? There's more to this alley scene. Is that... is that... a letterbox? Well, that's offensive. I don't need your dog humor at a time like this. No, wait. I'm being serious. I can smell what others cannot. Why else show up at my door? Past your brother, something smells... I try like hell not to say delicious. It has been a long time since my last cat treat. Is this... Is this... Did you find it, Detective? The litter box, you say? Well, that's all I needed to know. Scratch. The searing pain rakes across Dog's back. Kitty, why? That's all I needed from you. Goodbye, Dog. The end of chapter one, Dog Dolls Will Return.